because they're rolling up the artificial turf. It's being cut up into pieces, and it'll be put set on rolls, and the majority of the turf will be sent out to a, a recycling place where they'll actually melt it back down and make it into another artificial turf. Um, some of it will be cut up into small box and put into lucite boxes that we'll sell out of our team store. And we'll, those proceeds will be go to the uh, Ravens Foundation. We started this process way back in August, we talking to the players because you know we 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 usually replace the turf every five years. That's kind of a plan that we have here with the Ravens, just so it stays nice and is is a good quality surface for us to play on. And the players knew that we were going to have a uh, replacement of the turf coming up right here, so they came to us and says, "Can we explore the option of having real grass?" Because to a man, the players would rather play on on real grass rather than artificial. Turf. You know, we'll pull up this turf here now. Underneath this turf is a, about an eight or nine inch stone layer that was brought in here for the grass, for the artificial turf to be on. That stone layer will be uh, pulled out. It'll take about a week to ten days to pull out that stone layer. And then about a month, uh, it'll take about a month for bring back in what, the, what we call the root zone. And that's a sand, peat moss, uh, dirt mix that will be put on the field and it'll be built up, build up to about a 10 inch profile and we'll, we'll install an irrigation system on that and then from there we'll uh, uh, roll out the real grass. We could roll out the, the real grass on it earlier but it's, it's probably going to be on May 1st. It's just that's going to be the best time for the grass to grow in. The newer technology is, is the, uh, the grass breeders have come up with better uh, varieties of grass that can hold up better under under these weather conditions and these cold conditions here in, in, in Baltimore. And then the, the newer technology has just come online in the next three, four, five years is to actually grow in the sod on plastic so that the, so that the sod becomes all root bound because you, because the, the roots try and go down to the ground like they normally do, but they hit a sheet of plastic so then they just turn around and come back up and start a new grass plant. And so it gives, makes a very thick root bound layer that the uh, grass is, that, that makes the grass very tough and resilient and pretty heavy. Actually, the, the field that will be played on the, this Sunday up in, uh, in Levi Stadium in San Francisco will be a grass that's grown on plastic. They just, put it, they just rolled out that grass in Levi Stadium last week, and they'll be playing on the Super Bowl in the biggest game in the, in the world will be played on, on that type of grass.